Scott here, KD4EBL. Uh, I have a box that came this week from our good subscriber John in Arkansas that is going to help me out. I thought I'd do it on the air here. Uh, I'm going to take a knife and uh, he had it double boxed and I was able to take the first box off and I thought I'd open it up here. Any one of those fancy uh, exacto knives like Buzz has. So, and we'll open that up, and in it is another box. Now, let me tell you, this is expertly packed. Pull it on the side there. What we have here is an isolation transformer. So, Scott doesn't fry his brains out. And I think that's probably a pretty good idea. Of course, if you talk to my wife, she said I just, my brains have been fried for a long time. So what we have is a beautifully built box that he has done. On this side, we have uh, AC out. We have a light and an on off switch uh, and a plug. And if we open it up, we can open up the little latch here which needs a screw. Well, let's see. Any port in a storm, as they say. I'll open that up. Take the screw off. And, lo and behold, inside we have Hopefully that's coming in. Let me check real quick. And yes, inside we have a isolation transformer that goes over and has the light in series. So when it's on, over here we have it connected to the AC and we have a terminal switch over here with, uh, that also goes to the on off switch there. So basically what an isolation transformer does is isolates this outlet from the mains. And so it, it limits the amount of current so that if something gets touched by mistake, you're not having everything go directly into you. It isolates it here uh, and it, it will limit, it'll still shock you, but it will limit what you have. I think I got that right. Please let me know if that's not. So we're gonna give this a try in a few minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna actually test the uh, isolation transformer. Uh, not, I'm going to put something in, I just wanna see, make sure that we're getting the voltage that we're supposed to. I can turn it on. You see the red light goes on over there. Uh, I have my Simpson meter here and I'll move this a little closer. Uh, the Simpson meter is on AC volts. And I will put my probes in here and here, and it goes up to a little bit, about a 122, 123, which is about what we get here. So this shows me that the isolation transfer transformer is working. Now I'm gonna show you the Variac I have here. Uh, this is a Variac that is made by Standard Electrical Products out of Dayton, Ohio. Uh, I imagine it's 50 years old. And as we look in here, it's very simple. It's the Variac itself, and as you can see, it goes over to a two-prong plug, uh, and there is no ground on this right now. Uh, so the Variac's here and goes up and down. So now I'm gonna take the isolation transformer here, plug the Variac in it, and I'll show you over here on the voltage meter uh, how we will go up to 110. So I'm going to plug this in, to here, um, and then my probes will actually be in the back of the of the uh, isolation, or excuse me, of the variac as I move it up here. Okay, here we go with a test. Here, I'm turning the um, isolation transformer on. I am turning on the variac. I'm putting my probes in right now. On, and, the, and the Simpson meter is on AC, and I'm gonna slowly bring it up. And as you can see, uh, it goes up, 
I'm still on the uh, AC scale here and if I take it all the way up it actually is at full uh, house current which is about 123 so I can vary uh, as I bring up uh, old tube sets I'm going to bring it up very slowly as we uh, charge the uh, capacitors here. Uh, my probe was off for a second there. Okay, so that's a, a, a real short video I wanted to show you. Uh, what I don't have hooked up in here is a way of monitoring what the amps are. Uh, I will be adding that, but for right now, I could do that with the Simpson meter uh, and monitor some of this stuff. Uh, the Variac actually is fairly uh, accurate in that when I bring it up to 20 volts, uh, it really is 20 volts and so forth. And so I'm, I'm pretty, I tested that out and made sure that was as aligned as it could be. It's just a manual setting with a screw on the, uh, on the knob. And so it's not the, the best system in the world, but certainly will work. And the isolation transformer will help out there. And now we're able to uh, a little bit more safely check out some of the systems out there. And we'll be doing that in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.